Hungry Hank the Piggy Bank. One day in my room playing with my ball, it hit a clock that was hanging on my wall. The sound was so loud, it drew a whole crowd. My little baby sister said, You're in trouble, mister. My mother said to me that day, To fix that clock, you'll have to pay. My father said, It's time to learn what it means to work and earn. Now you will get a list of chores, like cutting grass and cleaning floors. So go to bed and get some sleep. You soon will learn a clock's not cheap. They left me there and shut the door. I was all alone and feeling poor. Then I heard a funny sound. I looked but saw no one around. I heard a friendly voice that said, I am hungry and must be fed. I searched my room while quickly walking, but I could not find a person talking. I spoke the words that filled your ear. Look on the shelf. I'm right up here. You can call me Hungry Hank. I am a talking piggy bank. My body shook. My knees got weak. I never knew my bank could speak. Do not be scared. I am your friend. Do you have some cash to lend? I do not have a penny yet. In fact, I am now deep in debt. If I teach you how to save, will you feed me the cash that I crave? I said that sure sounds good to me. I don't expect your help for free. Having a dream is the very first thing, like dreaming of being as rich as a king. Of course you must pay every cent that you owe before your savings start to grow. You have to start saving by earning some cash. And you start at the bottom by taking out trash. If you always save a penny, one day it will add up to many. Every time you save a nickel, you will see you're saving more than triple. Whenever you can save a dime, it makes you rich in half the time. If you learn right now to save each quarter, one day you'll teach your son or daughter. When you know how to save a dollar, you'll get so rich you'll want to holler. Try your best to save each and every five. You will like the feeling when your savings start to thrive. Maybe you can save every single ten. Save your money all the time, not just now and then. Do what it takes to save each twenty that you can. You could always spend it later when you become a rich old man. For you to save up every fifty, you have to become very thrifty. Some can save up hundreds and find they're glad they did. This takes both luck and skill. It isn't easy for a kid. If you can save up thousands, you'll find success is sweet. Being rich, they say, is not everything, but it's certainly a treat. If you're lucky, you'll earn millions and have enormous wealth. Very few can save up billions, but don't sacrifice your health. Soon you will start your money quest, but tonight you better get some rest. The next day came and I worked hard. I cleaned the house and raked the yard. I worked until I almost fell. Dad asked me why I work so well. I told my dad I must save money. He said, That joke was very funny. I said to Dad, I made a change. Dad said, That sounded very strange. When I stated that I must get rich, Dad asked me, What brought on the switch? I told my dad I saw the light while talking with my bank last night. Dad said, You know you should not lie, and you should be an honest guy. I told my dad I spoke the truth. I have not lied in my whole youth. Dad said, Go up to your room and take the mop and take the broom. I ran upstairs and cleaned up quick. I scrubbed until the floor was slick. Then Mom came in and said, Good job, you even cleaned your brass doorknob. Mom said, All this working was quite a shock. Then she gave me a brand new clock. Mom asked me why a fib was told. To tell your dad was very bold. I said to Mom, see for yourself. My bank is up there on my shelf. I asked Hungry Hank to say some words. Then Mom said, Lying's for the birds. 
My mom walked out and acted sad. She said she had to tell my dad. I asked Hungry Hank why he stayed quiet. He laughed and said, That was a riot. Hank said that talking was a secret, and from now on we ought to keep it. Then my dad came walking in. He said that liars never win. When I told him that my story would stop, he pointed to the broom and mop. Then I cleaned up everything. I even cleaned the bathtub ring. I went to bed and laid right down. My snoring woke up half the town. I heard Hank scream and I awoke. He reminded me I was flat broke. Hank said, Your values sure got hazy. To become rich you can't be lazy. Hank said, It's not the time to quit. You've only worked a little bit. I told Hank that my work was good, and I did everything I should. Hank said, Your work has just begun, so try to think of work as fun. There are things you're going to want in life, like toys and cars, a house, a wife. Spend less than you earn from your job or allowance, and your personal budget will always balance. I agreed to keep working and not change my mind, and to make things official, a contract was signed. From that day on, I was no louse. I even cleaned my neighbor's house. I even taught my sister Shirley, it's best to save when you start early. Once I thought I would give up working, but Hungry Hank was nearby lurking. Hank said, It's hard to make your goals, and along the way you must pay tolls. Hank told me to, Remember this, winners win and losers miss. Saving money is not easy, it's like sailing a boat when it's not breezy. When you save your money, it's like a race. Your goal should always be first place. In the race to save if you're not first, it does not mean that you're the worst. When racing to save if you're a runner-up, you still deserve a silver cup. To save enough to be a winner, save after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Saving money can bring a lifetime of joy, plus it helps at the store when you're buying a toy. Sometimes saving money can take a while, but one day you may have a pile. Thank you, Hank. I feel much better. I do not want to be a debtor. I used some money that I'd made and started selling lemonade. I opened a car wash and with hard work and hope, I earned lots of money using water and soap. I shoveled snow and cut the lawn. I stopped at dusk and worked at dawn. For years I worked and kept things clean. Vacation time was barely seen. I worked through each entire season. To save more money was the reason. All spring I cleaned and planted seeds, and to earn more money I pulled up weeds. All summer long I cut the grass, but the money helped the time to pass. All fall I raked up many leaves. Who said that money doesn't grow on trees? All winter long it kept on snowing. My shovel kept my savings growing. Hungry Hank taught me one day after school, A person who parts with their money's a fool. Sometimes you and some of your money must part, but remember the rule about the fool and be smart. Hungry Hank made a strong suggestion. Be very careful what you invest in. Hungry Hank told me, Always remember, don't gamble from January through December. Try not to buy anything on credit. You would be better off to just forget it. Buying on credit is like a time bomb. When the time comes to pay, you may cry for your mom. Money interest should not be neglected. It's bad when it's paid and it's good when collected. Try not to give or take a loan. Politely say no in a friendly tone. Before you buy something that you think is nice, make sure that you find the lowest price. Shop around and find good buys, even if it takes ten tries. When buying or selling make honest deals, you are sure to enjoy the way that it feels. Paying your bills on time is a must. You may have a problem if your bills collect dust. Some things are not always as they might seem. Be very careful as you work toward your dream. Never be an unfair person, or things one day are bound to worsen. Some folks say that money is an each evil root. Most people are good, but keep an eye on your loot. If you can save all the money that you are able, 
It can help you to feel secure and stable. Sometimes it's nice to consider sharing. It proves that you are warm and caring. Working overtime is no cause for alarm. A little hard work never did anyone harm. Work can get dirty in so many ways, but when the dirt washes off, the money still stays. You should search for a job that you like the most and enjoy your career, but try not to boast. Hungry Hank said he did not mean to nag, but it's no fun to hear a rich person brag. When you've saved for a while and know what it's like, one day it gets easy like riding a bike. Saving gets easier once you've learned how. You may save a fortune with what you know now. Instead of dwelling on the money in which you lack, go get a job and earn a whole stack. I then said to Hank that was such a good chat. With all I will save, you will get big and fat. Hungry Hank gave me so many good tips, and I listened to every word that came out of his lips. When I was done learning Hank's helpful hints, they had to raise production at the U.S. Mints. I said, Hungry Hank, my good friend made of plastic, your help with my saving was totally fantastic. I set Hank on his favorite hutch and thanked him very, very much. My decision to save was a very good choice. I was lucky to have a bank with a voice. I delivered newspapers to every house on my road, and most of them landed on lawns that I mowed. I saved a lot and rarely spent. I did not waste a single cent. To save some more, I worked three shifts. I even saved my birthday gifts. Every night I worked so late, but all the money sure was great. I saved so much that I started to dance, but my pockets were so full that I ripped my pants. Hank ate so much and got so big, he became a fat and happy pig. When Hank was full, I bought another at the toy store with my mother. To buy more banks was not a bother, back at the toy store with my father. I filled more banks in Fact 29, and every one was mine, mine, mine. I saved up such a large amount, I opened my first bank account. When I grew up, I learned more skills, so I could always pay my bills. To earn more money and get more knowledge, I saved enough to go to college. I worked till I could barely stand, to save enough to buy some land. I earned myself a house and cars, I saved enough to fly to Mars. Since a trip to Mars sounded much too silly, I stayed on Earth where it's not as chilly. I became the richest man in Dallas. I sold my house and bought a palace. Now I have a wife and kids too, and thanks to Hungry Hank, all my dreams have come true. Sometimes I look back on this story with laughter. I'm so glad that it ends happily ever after.